So while having my coffee this morning, I realized there was a tweet from Tavis Ormandy. And whenever he tweets, it's usually something pretty interesting, especially when it's in regards to LastPass. He has long been poking away at LastPass, which is one of the reasons I like the product. Yes, a flaw was found. Yes, the flaw was fixed. So don't worry, you're safe, as long as you're not bypassing or stopping updates from coming through to your system, including your standard Chrome updates, your Chrome browser updates, your Mozilla updates, and your plugin updates. As long as you're not stopping them, you're fine. So we'll at least clear that up right now. Second, why do I keep using LastPass if there keeps being flaws found in it? And this is where people have a big misunderstanding of security all the time. They assume because a flaw was found in their product, the product therefore should not be used. I prefer products, not that have flaws in them, but that have security researchers like Tavis Orvindy constantly poking at the code. LastPass has also gone through pretty extensive code reviews. These are important aspects to any product, whether it be hardware or software. If it has any software on it at all that runs that hardware, you want a strong security research team to do code review, to constantly be checking it for bugs. And you can't just assume because some new product is on the market and has not been hacked that it is secure. It is not secure until it has gone through a lot of testing. And even then, it's whether or not those testers were able to find it. So that is a really subjective thing of just how good these testers are. Tavis is one of the best in the business and works for Google's Project Zero. Now, this particular bypass was a little bit interesting. So LastPass could leak the last used credentials due to a cache not being updated. This is because when you can bypass the tab credential being cache being populated by including the login form in an unexpected way. And the code is actually a little bit interesting. So the concept is that if you go to accounts like google.com and prompted to click the password dot, 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 and fill it in, and then go to example.com, I know what they're doing is saying that if you have it filled in, but sitting there, it is now cached because it's in there, but you haven't logged in yet to clear the cache. Then you enter the council over on another one, on another site, for example, example.com, and it would be able to see the credentials that were pulled for the previous site. So it's kind of, there is a high severity level to this, but it's also a little bit tricky to do. And he didn't have at the time of recording right now, a proof of concept put up. But he just figured out how to automatically compare these until it succeeds. And basically, what this is where it gets a little bit trickier is to take another URL, like any subdomain of the URL you were logged into, to help pull those credentials forwards and then I frame them into another piece. And like I said, I'll leave links to all this so you can read through. And uh, this will get updated if Travis po posts this proof of concept on here. But what I really wanted to talk about, directly related to this, is that whole concept of because there's a flaw found, you should stop using the product. Now, that depends on how those companies respond. There's a lot more to security than just a flaw found, stop using it. A flaw found company responded properly, and they did. Tavis went through the proper disclosure method of finding the bug, creating a proof of concept. You know, basically you have to prove that this is real, submitted it to the teams over at LastPass. LastPass looked at it, go, that's valid, and we understand the flaw, we understand how to reproduce it, which is an important concept whenever you're doing bug bounties or bug hunting is being able to reproduce the bug, not having a one-off of not sure how it happened, because uh, that becomes really hard for the programmers to fix. But that proof of concept was put together, Tavis found it, LastPass took care of it, an update was issued, now it's all public disclosure and out in the open. This is the cycle of security. This is an important aspect of it. And like I said, just because there's people poking at these products and then finding the flaws. It's all about how these companies respond to the flaws will be the determining factor of whether or not that product stays secure. And any product that doesn't have people poking at it does not mean it's secure. So you could release some software today and make that bold statement, it's never been hacked, never been a flaw found in a product. But until these companies go through solid code review, they're really hard to trust. This also makes it very difficult here to start new companies and gain the user's trust. Now, there's always some people who go, oh, new product and jump on it, but I'm always very cautious on these, especially when they're products that maybe uh, just don't have much market saturation, so there's not a lot of use, there's not a lot of time that I have to poke at them, then I'm really not a great pen tester, it's not what I do. You want the really high-end pen testers to go through, do code reviews, and really poke at it. 
you want them to have a whole process over on somewhere like Hacker One, where they offer bug bounties to encourage larger groups of people to poke at it. And by the way, when you're starting up a company, especially anything in the software realm, this is part of the process now, is having your code reviewed. I talked about this before with Keybase, and they were very public about their code review. It took a while before they got to it, but it also cost them about $100,000 to do. It is not arbitrary to do an extensive level of pen testing and code review on any particular product. This is why I do like LastPass. I, I'm shocked that LogMeIn has not destroyed them as a company. So if any of you are going, but LogMeIn owns them, didn't they do bad things? LogMeIn is a um, not a company that has a reputation of doing wonderful products, but LastPass has been one that I think they've left alone. They realize it's a popular product. It has uh, excellent market share. And with people like Tavis poking at it, they seem to keep their security up to date and they're still as responsive as they've ever been. Now, for those of you who don't know or why you use any password manager, the password manager has to be a zero trust system. LastPass is a zero trust system. For those of you wondering or trying to research that, there's a few other ones out there like uh, Bitwarden's another one people have asked me to review and I just really haven't had the time to dig into it. But all these are based on zero trust where companies like LastPass do not have your password. That's why all of these attacks are always occurring at the browser level because it is filling in passwords within the browser. So anytime you have something filling in passwords within the browser itself because the decryption is happening on your side at your computer because it's not happening at the LastPass level, that's why these attacks happen there, it's the only place they can happen. They're not attacking LastPass directly. LastPass, by not having your passwords, removes that piece of attack surface by going, we don't have the password, you gotta check the browser, and that's where Tavis is really poking at it, is within the browser. And of course, this is a credential caching problem where you have filled in the credentials but haven't submitted them. It's an interesting bug. Um, it's so exciting that LastPass fixed this right away. That makes me very happy um, because I see this could be exploited. and. We don't have any proof that this was or was not exploited in a while, so we don't know. No websites were found. This is just Tavis working on his own research and going, I wonder if, and that's how a lot of security researchers work, they kind of poke at something and go, I wonder if it would do this. And when they find it, you know, there's a whole aha moment and then you turn it into a proof of concept and a bug report. So my conclusion is I'm going to still continue using LastPass. I still trust it as a product. I trust it more when I see people in security researchers poking really difficult at it. And it's partly because of their market share. They're one of the biggest password managers out there so there's a massive amount of you know people trying to gain an edge on LastPass and of course that has interest in security researchers who also want to you know get their name in lights by finding a flaw in LastPass and the cycle will continue and I, every little you know hole closed hole closed makes it just that much safer for a project thanks and thank you for making it to the end of the video if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.